Hi, this is James from the Hornball support team and this is a short video to show you a alternative authentication method when logging on to the self-service portal. So as we know there are three different methods of uh, logging into the self-service portal, one being uh, simply setting a password. So within the um, customer properties service desk access tab you could set just simply a text password and provide that to your end users or customers. Uh, an alternative method would be to set up single sign-on which is going to use your AD logon that you currently log on to your local machine. Uh, this is this has been already uh, set up for in a different video so you might want to uh, search for self-service single sign-on for that. And this method that I'm going to show you here is the LDAP method which will allow you to actually type in the username and password for a AD logon. So what I'm going to do is, is set up in exactly the same field as the password field. This is the only field we need to change as well. So uh, what we need to type in is underscore LDA and then a colon and then the name of your LDAP server. So it could just be LDAP dot, uh, yeah, just for example, test.homba.com, then a slash, then it will be your username to the machine. Um, so it's for your AD username at then the actual domain name that you're connecting to. So it'll be domain So this is literally all you need to type in. Um and this will then allow you to authenticate. Obviously you might want to use the FQDNs for these because otherwise um it may not authenticate otherwise uh, um so if I save changes there, I will show you um, using my local machine that this works. I've also set up a separate customer for myself and using our uh, domain name. This is simply my credentials, local credentials, and it works. Um, so all three works well. Um, it's just up to you how you wish to use it, really. Um, so any questions or queries, just uh, let me know.